Hello everyone, welcome to this lecture. I am Amran Das. Today I will discuss about anomalous Zeeman effect for D1 and D2 lines of sodium. Okay. We know that D1 line of sodium atom has wavelength 5896 angstrom and D2 line of sodium atom has wavelength 5890 angstrom. Okay. Now, D1 line arises due to the transition from 32p half to 32s half level. Okay. And D2 line of sodium atom arises due to the transition of electron from 32p 3 by 2 level to 32s half level. Okay. Now, for the three state that is one state is 2s half state second state is 2p half state and third third state is 2p 3 by 2 state we write the values of l s j and m j okay in a table form suppose uh, we make a table Suppose here we write the states, okay, here we write the states, that is the levels and here we write the values of L corresponding to this state and suppose here we write the values of uh, S corresponding to these states and suppose here we write the values of J and here we write write the values of mg okay that is magnetic quantum number total magnetic quantum number of the atom now here first we write the state 3 2 s half okay here we write 3 2 s half level and here we write 3 2 p half and here we write the state 3 2 p 3 by 2 okay these are the three states now for the first state that is 3 to s half level the value of l is 0 because we know that for a state value of l is 0 and for the p state value of l is 1 okay and also for, for the state 3 to p 3 by 2 level value of l is 1 okay because for p state l is 1 and for uh, now for this state 3 s half level value of s is half okay and for this state value of s is half and this state value of s is half now here we write the value of j so uh, for the state 3 2 s half the value of j is half and for the state 3 2 p half the value of j is half and for 3 to p 3 by 2 level value of j is 3 by 2 okay now we write the value of mj okay that is total magnetic quantum number of the atom uh, for for this state that is 3 to s half level value of j is half okay now for j equals to half mj have values minus j to plus j in equal steps of unity okay that is for j equals to half mj has value plus half to minus half in equal steps of unity okay so mj has two value one value is half and other value is minus half okay similarly for this state value of j is half so mj has two value one value is half and other value is minus half and for the state 3 p 3 2 p 3 by 2 value of j is 3 by 2 so here value of mj is 3 by 2 to minus 3 by 2 in equal steps of unity that is there are four values 3 by 2 
half minus half and minus 3 by 2. Okay. Now we draw the spectral lines for the D1 and D2 lines of sodium atom. Okay. Now we draw the spectral lines for D1 and D2 lines. Suppose this is 3, 2, S half level. Okay. And suppose this is 3, 2, P half level and this is 3, 2, P 3 by 2 level. Okay. Now, this level that is 3 to S half level is divided into two sub levels. Okay. So, this level is divided into two sub levels. Now, also the state 3 to P half level also divided into two sub levels. So this level also divided into two sub levels and 3, 2, P, 3 by 2 level is divided into four sub levels. Okay. So we write uh, there are four sub levels. This is one level. This is another level. So there are four sub levels corresponding to this level. Now the value of Mj the value of Mj of this level is 3 by 2 and the value of this level is half and the value of this level is uh, value of Mj of this level is minus half and the value of Mj of this level is minus 3 by 2 okay because this state has this state uh, has mj equals to 4 values minus 3 by 2 to plus 3 by 2 so this is 3 by 2 level or mj equals to 3 by 2 and this is mj equals to half level this is mj equals to minus half level and this is mj equals to minus 3 by 2 level similarly for this state that is 3 to p half level mj has two value this level is mj equals to half level and this is mj equals to minus half level. Similarly, this is mj equals to half level and this is mj equals to minus half level. Okay. Now, we know that d1 line of sodium atom occurs due to the transition from 3 to p half level to 3s half level. Okay. So, this is d1 line. And D2 line arises due to the transition from 3 to P 3 by 2 level to 3 to S half level. Okay. So this is D2 line. D1 line occurs when transition of electron from 3 to P half level to 3 to S half level and D2 line of sodium atom occurs due to the transition of electron from 3 to P 3 by 2 level to 3 to S half level. Okay. So this is D1 line and this is D2 line. Now here in this case the selection rule is delta Mj delta Mj equals to 0 plus minus 1. Okay. So these are the selection rule. That is the transition which satisfy this selection rule will actually occur. Now here Transition occurs from mj equals to 3 by 2 level to mj equals to half level. Okay. Now, transition from mj equals to half level to mj equals to half level 
We first saw the spectral line for D1 line and then we saw the spectral line of D2 line. Okay. So first we saw the spectral line of D1 line. Okay. Now when a magnetic field is applied, D1 line is splitted. And here the selection rule is delta mj equals to 0 and plus minus 1. So transition of D1 line occurs. That here in this case transition occurs from j equal mj equals to half level to mj equals to half level. Okay. So this is this gives a spectral line and the transition from mj equals to half level to mj equals to minus half level also gives rise a spectral line. Now the transition from mj equals to minus half level to mj equals to half level gives a spectral line and the transition from mj equals to minus half level to mj equals to minus half level gives a spectral line. So D1 line has four components. Okay. Now similarly for D2 line uh, transition occurs from mj equals to 3 by 2 level to mj equals to half level. So this gives a spectral line. Transition from mj equals to half level to mj equals to half level gives a spectral line. Transition from mj equals to half level to mj equals to minus half level also gives rise a spectral line. Transition from mj equals to minus half level to mj equals to half level gives spectral line. Transition from mj equals to minus half level to mj equals to minus half level also gives a spectral line and the transition from mj equals to minus 3 by 2 level to mj equals to minus half level gives a spectral line. Okay. According to the selection rule, delta m equals to either 0 or plus 1 or minus 1. Okay. So total 6 components are observed. Okay. So after application of the magnetic field, D1 line is splitted into four components and D2 line is splitted into six components. Okay. According to the, this selection rule, that is, that is delta mj equals to 0 plus minus 1. Now, quantum electrodynamics, according to quantum electrodynamics, the transition corresponding to delta mj equals to 0 is linearly polarized and it, it is called pi components okay and uh, the spectral line corresponding to delta mj mj equals to plus minus 1 are called sigma components okay now here uh, the which the transitions that satis which satisfy Delta mj equals to 0 are called pi components and the transition which satisfy the selection rule delta mj is either g plus 1 or minus 1 are called pi components. Okay. Now here in this case the transition occurs from mj equals to half level to mj equals to half level. So here delta mj is half minus half that is 0. So this is called pi components. Similarly, here mj is transition occurs from mj equals to half to minus half. Okay. That is delta mj is half minus of minus half. That is 1. Here delta mj is 1. So this is called sigma component. Now here in this case, transition occurs from mj equals to minus half to plus half. So here delta mj is minus 1. So this is called sig sigma component. And in this transition delta mj is minus half. Here delta mj is minus half. And here delta mj, here mj is minus half. And here mj is minus half. Okay. That is delta mj is 
zero. So this component is called pi component. So d1 line has four component, two com two pi component and two sigma component. Okay. Similarly, in this spectral line, transition occurs from mj equals to three by two level to mj equals to half level. So here value of delta mj is three by two minus half that is one. So this component is called sigma component. Similarly, here transition occurs from mj equals to half to mj equals to half. So here delta mj is half minus half that is zero. So this component is called pi component. And here uh, delta transition occurs from mj equals to minus half to mj mj equals to plus half to minus half. Okay, that is delta mj is. Half minus of minus half. That is, delta mj is one. So this component is called sigma component. And here, transition occurs from mj equals to minus half to my plus half. That is, delta mj is minus one. So this component is called sigma component. And here, transition occurs from mj is mj equals to minus half to mj equals to minus half. So here delta m j is zero, so this is called pi component. And in this spectral line, transition occurs from m j equals to minus three by two to m j equals to minus half. Okay, that is delta m j is minus one. So this component is called sigma component. So we see that D two line has six components. Uh, two spectral lines are called uh, pi components, and there are four sigma components. Okay. Thus, we can say that after application of the magnetic field, D1 line is split into four components: two pi components and two sigma components. And after application of the magnetic field, D2 line of sodium atom. Uh, Is split into six components: two pi components and four sigma components. Okay. Thus, we explain the anomalous Z1 effect for D1 and D2 lines of sodium atom. Okay. Thank you for watching this video.